Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Hydro PTM Pro Power Supply from FSP. I've got the 850 watt model, comes in 650, 750, 1000, and 1200 watt versions. As you can see here on the box, I'm looking at all the specs right off the bat. For those of you that uh, want to pause the screen, take a quick peek. This is a Platinum Efficiency 80 Plus certified. You can see there, 92% at 50% load, of course. And uh, comes with a nice 135 millimeter fan and all the protection, the safety protection that you would need. That's something that a lot of people take for granted when it comes to the additional features that a power supply should have. Yes, this has a single 12 volt rail. It does have an eco switch to decrease uh, the fan uh, noise and output. Uh, 10 years warranty on that. Wow. They really stand behind their product on this. Modular design for the cables, yes. And the quality components, we're going to look at this more in detail in just a moment on the inside. Now, as per that 12 volt rail, you can see there's strong 70 amp uh, on that 12 volt rail. So that's going to be plenty of power there. Inside the box, you're going to get these stickers so you can customize the looks of your power supply. It comes obviously with the black uh, look on, by default and you can change that to red or green, for example and you have the manual and also in the box you're going to get obviously packaged very nicely and securely there the power supply itself you know it's a fairly nice uh, you know size i gotta admit uh, you can see there the, the 135 millimeter fan we're going to take a quick look at that and open this out of the package in just a second and also in this little bag here you've got all the modular cables that's right so most power supplies that are module will have them neatly packaged in here you know you want to have all your stuff tucked in and uh, if you're wondering how many uh, cables are in there well here it is pause the screen right there and you can see the amounts and uh, well I'm gonna lay this out so you can get a closer look at those cables now it does come with the four screws of course so you can attach that onto your case so good size gauge wire there on that power cable so you can see it's a nice thick strong cable not some flimsy thin design so that's very nicely done there they didn't cheap out or anything you can see here there's a ton of cables like i just showed you a second ago the amounts um they're the uh style that basically allows you to do good cable management obviously you're going to be able to tuck things neatly with these thin ribbon design and they're very generous on the lengths as well so i do appreciate that they do that i'm going to take one out here so you can see what i'm talking about look at this um, pci express the graphics card cable for example look how long that is so it's very thin strong and uh, well i'll just fold it here and you can get a sense on that length all right so that's that's a nice length there that will go from the power supply through the back of the motherboard and loop back in to the case. Now the power supply itself, it's got a nice uh, brushed metallic finish on that. You can see that coating that they've added in there. Uh, I do like the fact that they mention that they've added an additional coating throughout this that is supposed to help with uh, the uh, dust, the stains, the humidity. So that conformal coating that they're saying is really nice. Uh, I like the strong design of this. I like the uh, eco switch there, which basically allows you to have the fan uh, off until it hits 30% load. And then after that, the fan kicks on. And uh, you can see here all the cables that will connect to these connectors right here. They're very nicely labeled, so you can't really go wrong. So if you have some peripherals, obviously you're going to plug in the peripheral cable there to those uh, available slots you've got five of those and uh, well pretty much uh, the same thing for everything else I mean if you're plugging in your motherboard cable it's going to tell you exactly this motherboard connector goes to the motherboard um, label on the power supply and you have two additional connectors there so if you have a larger board that requires more power supply connectors you know maybe you're overclocking and you just need a little bit more juice well this is going to give it to you obviously you have the additional capabilities to plugging that in here now you've got four PCI Express at the top so maybe you want to have a couple of graphics cards in there you maybe you've got uh, you know a really high-end uh, computer and you you want not just the uh, platinum efficiency that this gives but you want also that consistency you want that voltage regulation and um, consistency in, in, in the output, you want to make sure that it can handle uh, the amount of load, basically. And this is going to give it to you. You have all the options here should you decide to upgrade in the future. Once you've decided, okay, I want to have these cables, this is what I want, 
You can bundle it, twist tie it, and away you go. Now, looking at this fan again, uh, very nice and quiet, I gotta admit. You can see there, when it kicks in with that eco mode at 30%, the fan will ramp up. You can see there how it ramps up and the noise to load ratio. So that is a nice little feature that uh, you, know, you can obviously override that and just have that off if you don't want to. But definitely, you know, having a good AC to DC conversion, the module design that's in there, and making sure that that voltage regulation is kept to a minimum, uh, like they say there at 1% at any uh, point in time is, is crucial, especially if you're overclocking and you're putting a lot of load on, on the... Uh, on the power supply on the machine. So Japanese made capacitors, yes, you know, they're rated at 450 watt, 105 degrees Celsius for reliability and performance. Server grade design there on that copper bars uh, that are on that uh, main board and the daughter board. Uh, and of course, heat dissipation design, really nicely done there as well. So I can tell there's lots of room for um, the fan to basically get also that air, that hot air design out of there. But because it's so efficient, that's supposed to decrease the amount of heat that this generates when it does the regulation as well. So this, this is supposed to be a high-end uh, power supply that gives you less heat, less waste, obviously, so it's supposed to be more efficiency, and definitely something that I would recommend for those of you that are building a high-end gaming PC rig. And I'm going to do additional videos with this power supply to show you what and how this looks like in one of my cases coming up. So I'd like to thank FSB for providing this. I'll add the latest link and the pricing below in the description. Comment, let me know what you think. And again, thank you for watching.